Hi friends, so today we are going to study about the structure of neuron. So neurons are highly specialized cells of our neural system. Our neural system basically consists of the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system which comprises our brain, our spinal cord and all the nerves. So these are all made up of highly specialized cells known as the neurons or the nerve cells. Now the neurons have three main parts that is the cell body, the dendrites and the axon. The cell body as you all can see consists of many cell organelles, Golgi apparatus, mitochondria, lysosomes, nucleus and it also contains many granulated bodies known as the Nissel's granules. Now arising from this cell body are various branches. These blue color branches as you can see these are known as the dendrites. Dendrites actually they receive the signals from the neighboring neurons and then transmit them towards the cell body. So that is their function. And now as you can see a long filament. This filament is known as the axon. Now axons help in the transduction of signals throughout the neuron. Now at the distal portion of axon as you can see it is known as the axon terminal. These have many branches and each branch is terminating into a bulb like structure known as a synaptic nerve. And each of these synaptic nerve contains many chemicals known as the neurotransmitters. These neurotransmitters ultimately help in the transduction of signal in the synaptic space or the neuromuscular junction that is the space between two consecutive neurons and they help in the control and coordination of a body. Now the neurons are of three basic types the multipolar, the unipolar and the bipolar. The multipolar neurons have a single axon and two or more dendrites as you can see in this model and bipolar neurons have a single axon and a single dendrite as you can see in the retina of our eye and unipolar neurons have only a single dendrite i have only a single axon and these are found in the embryonic stages of organisms so now coming to the axons axons are also of two basic types myelinated as well as non-myelinated myelinated axons are covered by schwann cells and they form myelin sheath around the axon as in this model you can see and the space between two consecutive myelin sheets are known as the node of Ranvier. These blue colored strips are symbolic of node of Ranvier. Non-myelinated axons even though they are covered by the Schwann cells but they do not form the myelin sheath around the axon. So that was the structure of neuron. Hope you all understood it. Thank you and have a good day.